Today we are comparing some Ultra Impact Modified PLA versus some Polycarbonate ABS filament to see which one of these will make the better airless basketball. The Ultra Impact Modified PLA is by Atomic Filament and the PC ABS is by Polymaker. This was my first time printing ABS and I gotta say the supports came off really easy and satisfying which was nice, but I think I printed it way too fast because I saw some layer line separation towards the top of the ball and I tried to glue it as best as possible so that it would hold up for this durability test to see how it would do, but I think I need to reprint it at a slower speed so that I can get a good print and really test the durability of the PC. ABS. So here's our finished Ultra Impact Modified PLA ball and here's our finished PC ABS ball. Before I do a drop test I'm just going to weigh each one of them. The PLA ball ended up being about 714 grams and the PC ABS ball ended up being about 612.5 grams. Before we do a bounce test I'm going to start with a drop test with the Ultra Impact Modified PLA. It held up for the first drop test but on the second drop test it ended up cracking pretty badly and when we dropped it a third time it ended up splitting in half. Moving on to the PC ABS drop test it ended up surviving the drop test just fine and I even got a few bounces out of it before it ended up splitting in half just like the PLA. I'll have to print another one properly so that we can actually give it a solid durability test compared to some of the other filaments we've tried. Well there you have it looks like both of the filaments we tried in this video was a bit of a bust but there are some things I'd like to try in the next few videos coming up. I have some other durable filaments coming in. I'll make videos on those when they come out. But another thing I'd like to try is using a file with a double lattice. Right now we are using a file that does not have the double lattice structure and I would like to give a double lattice file a try. The other thing I'd like to try is annealing some of the basketballs or putting it in the oven for a certain amount of time at a certain temperature to strengthen it. Each one of these basketballs takes a couple days to print so I'll come out with more videos as I'm able to print them, but let me know what suggestions you have or things we should try next, and I will see you in the next one.